Hello my dear students in this video i will tell you about the uh, alternate segment theorem especially questions based on this theorem because in the earlier video i have told already the theorem this is the exercise 15.3 Alternate segment theorem (AST). In this, the one question first I start the very easy question that is three. Question number three. Book is by Emil Abraham. In this, there is a center. C is a center. The uh, 
property of the tangent the lengths of the two tangents from an exterior point are equal hmm? okay it means from if it is x this is the total is it this is 6 bp is 6 it means br is also 6 so br is equal to bp is equal to 6 Lens of two tangents from a point. Okay. Then what is the RC? Is x minus six? So we have to write x. So this is the x minus six. So what is the CQ? CQ is also equal to RC. Means x minus 6. Same reason. Hmm? Right? Ye C R or C Q. You don't know same again. Then what is the A Q? A Q is equal to 12 minus x minus 6. So it will be 18 minus x centimeter because it is here and ap is 4 and this is 18 minus x again the using the same property the aq is equal to means ap is equal to aq using the same reason hmm? so 4 is equal to 18 minus x so x is equal to 14 centimeters. Hmm? So by this way, then some the tangents you can find. Only one property is using. Now, when you say that, that this is a square, 
because op is oq is equal to op because op is equal to oq means radius therefore o p e, c q is a square after showing it is a square ab square ke ye sari sides aa raha hai then radius then use the property that is the agar ye c hai ye total a hai this point is a and this r so it will be a minus yes, r right similarly it is b minus r okay because this is b so if this is r so this will be b minus r and this point bp is equal to this suppose capital r and this total length is c so it will be a minus r and it will be b minus r hmm? now cp is equal to cq is equal to r also a q is equal to a r is equal to b minus r also b p is equal to b r is equal to a minus r and use the same property tangent lengths of the tangents from an exterior point r to lengths of tangents from a point <coughs> all can you say that the total length is equal to c when I mean this plus this is equal to c yeah. 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 also ab is equal to b r plus r a mula a r ab sab ki value ho to c is equal to a minus r plus b minus r when you take your 2r is equal to a plus b minus c r is equal to a plus b minus c by <coughs> After getting the radius, 
Can you solve for R1, R2, and R3? Can you solve for R1, R2, and R3? Can you solve for R1, R2, and R3? Can you solve for R1, R2, plus R2 is equal to AB and what is AB? From P. R2 plus R2? H because it is BC and R1 plus R3? C. So these are the three equations. And can you solve for R1, R2 and R3? How to solve? Hmm? How to solve R1, R2 and R3? How to solve? means uh, what method you will apply to solve it substitution of the r1 r2 r1 how r1 equals to 10 minus r2 hmm. you will put here yes, and then uh, r2 is equal to yes. 8 minus r3 in again the same image right? to r2. Then whole change r2. to r3 and then you will get the value of R. Yes, it's okay. One more method that is a simple way. You add all the three. Adding one, two, and three. So what you will get? As a way. We sub add three here. So two times R one, two times R two, two times R three. And then R1 plus R2 plus R3. Now one by one you subtract the equation 1 from equation 4, equation 2 from equation 4 and equation 3. You will get all the three gradients. So by this way you can, so after this, subtract the equation 1 from equation 4, equation 2, equation 4, equation 3 from equation 2. It will be cancelled. Is it a second equation or third equation? Question number 13. There are also the figure is given. And in this figure, the three, two semicircles, three semicircles. One is the one, and one is the one. And one circle. One circle. The M is the midpoint. C is the center of this circle, small circle. This is the B and this is A. If we let P and Q are the centers of the same circle, find the radius of and AB is equal to 8 cm. Find radius of this circle. This circle ka radius is the radius of circle with center C. So, ne, is the circle. AB is equal to 8 and also M is midpoint. It is given. How to find the solution? The radius. So, AM is equal to or MB is equal to okay. and what is PM and MQ is equal to P 
E and Q are the centers of the semicircles. Then how to find the radius of this? You join this one by the this center and also you can join here also. Hmm? This is the radius R. Let the radius of the C be R, means circle. This is, this one is 2, because this is the same amount of the radius. This length is 2 plus R, and this one is the 2. But, and CM is perpendicular on AB. How? Because, because, because ये जो है, this is the tangent on these two semicircles. ये tangent ही तो है, जो touch कर रहा है। अगर इसको हम बढ़ाएंगे तो ये circle ही तो बनेगा। मतलब दोनों circle के बीच में line। हाँ, हाँ, ये, ये tangent ही तो होगा, touch ही तो कर रहा है। हैं? If it is the tangent and this P is the center of this semicircle, हैं? तो ये इसमें जो join कर रहा है, तो this is always going to be by the tangent property. So this is 90. So you can write angle C M P is equal to 90 by tangent property. But what is the C M? Is the length कैसी है? कहीं भी R नहीं मिलेगा. R you can get when you apply the Pythagoras theorem. और पाइथागोरस पर मिले थ्री ऑल द थ्री साइड्स यू वांट टू साइड्स आते हैं ओके बट द लास्ट वन